serious and complicated issue all around the world. In 2004, an organisation was set up in San Francisco to provide people experiencing homelessness with all the facilities they need for a day. Today, we are at Perth's seventh Homeless Connect. I hear numbers as high as 14,000 technically homeless in Western Australia. Um, but I would say in the city of Perth, on any given night, we probably have between two and 300 who are sleeping rough. Homeless Connect is an event that actually enables people who are in a homeless situation to avail uh, legal assistance, uh, optical care, get a haircut, get a massage, have a shower, get a really nice meal and, you know, really connect with other people who are in a similar situation. Events like this are just part of the solution to, to homelessness. It'll make a lot of difference or, um, temporarily for some people, but some people it will actually change their, their lives. It, it will we will put them in touch with the service that will allow them to move forward and move out of homelessness and, and their lives will be absolutely different. So today is about making a difference. After seeing and speaking to some of the people experiencing homelessness today, we came across Josh, an inspirational man who has had a hard and rough history but has turned his life around with the support of his own sought out networks and organisations at the Homeless Connect event. He now hopes to be someone to help people in a similar situation. Um, well I've been doing this most of my life and uh you know, trying to find networks throughout the community to help me and support me through the rough times. Um, and from all the support and all the help that I did get, I chose to go to TAFE and study community services and move on and uh, try to put all the help that I've been uh, getting back into the community. His lecturers, Selena and Neil, say Josh, in only a few short months, has become a leader in his group. Yeah, Josh enrolled um, probably three, what would it be, three months ago to study Certificate 3 in Community Services. Mm. Um, he's experienced, from what I understand, a life um, with a few challenges, including homelessness. Um, and he's overcome a lot of those and he now volunteers at the Rua Centre. You know, we always find that people who have who come into our courses, there's always a certain percentage of them that have un, you know, underlying issues and certainly Josh has seemed quite significant from what he was telling us so um, we're pretty proud of him and he's overcome a lot and he's actually one of our top students so we're, you know, we're pretty impressed with how far he's come. In fact today we've got a group of around 50 students and he's kind of running the show so giving them a tour and some information which is just amazing. Mm. We've got very high hopes for him and um, our ambition is that he comes back to do Cert 4 next semester and ends up in the industry that has once supported him. Yeah. The organisers hope that events like this will help to change the perception of homelessness, that people don't choose to be homeless, there are many reasons for it, and people experiencing homelessness should be treated with dignity, compassion and without judgement. There are lots and lots of reasons for people being homeless, either sleeping rough or being home. Even those people sleeping in cars and things, there's marriage breakdown, there's mental illness, there's poverty, there's, there's lots and lots of reasons. And we need to approach this, this, um, this issue with compassion and a desire to get a final outcome. Now, we, we might never completely eradicate homelessness, but there's a lot more we can do. Today's like this are uh, very um, emotional for me because it means so much and it means so much to everyone else in the community um, and just to let people know that there is support out there and there is help um, and yeah it's just a great day all together. Whilst in many respects the event is symbolic, it's only one day a year, it is a wonderful opportunity for many to actually avail themselves of legal services and support services that they might not be able to get to any other day or week of the year. I'm very proud of this event, I'm proud of how it's grown in seven years and I see it as a regular part of our city's calendar. Amidst Perth's growing stature as a global city, it's heartening to see events like this remembering people in need. Kate Barnard for Undercurrent.